Hi, Phil Bedford here, the Rebel Network, and today I'm in Bahrain, and we're running a four-day certified networker for the uh, uh, Bahraini Economic Department, and I'm here with uh, Dr. Saga Al Khalifa. He's a manager of investor relations for the Bahrain Economic Development Board. Uh, he's also a triathlete. Um, and we were having a chat, and he's actually done his uh, uh, dissertation. Yeah. His dissertation was on trust in economic growth. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's just going to give us some tips from his thesis because I thought it was just incredible. So, well, see, the thing is, um, when I read a lot of literature in economics and in political economy, I felt like something was missing, and that thing was in political psychology. So psychology is very important, and when I see a lot of indicators that ex try to explain economic growth, I felt like there was something missing, which is the human aspect out of the significance of what actually makes people invest and make people actually go, go to the banks, go to the economy, go to the business sector, and that is what I felt was trust. Mm -hmm. So I took trust and I divided it into two generalized and particularized, and I saw how important is particularized trust and I saw that it was actually, it had a significant importance and significant uh, um, influence in the uh, uh, variable, the dependent variable, which is economic growth. Wow. And you, you were giving me an example of how it applies to prisoners, I think you were saying. Yeah. I tried to also prove it in a qualitative sense, which then I looked at the tit-for-tat strategy and the prisoner's dilemma, and how to get actually two prisoners to cooperate, and I found it in the fit for tat strategy, where you know they start with if they started cooperating. If you take this strategy again in two or three and 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 uh, more than one shot actually of a prisoner's dilemma, you will slowly notice that they will start cooperating in order for them to achieve the optimal equilibrium, uh, not the suboptimal equi equilibrium, which is um, cooperation. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. Um do you have like a, an example of something that's happened in, in the world recently, which would be uh, uh, something like Cyprus, for example? Yeah, for, let's say Cyprus, let's take a Cyprus as an example. Um, you see a lot of runoff in the from the banks. People want to take their money and run out and run away. Um, and the banks close to prevent that. Now, this actually issue from, let's say, from a Middle Eastern or an African sense, a lot of people understood what's happening, you know, because it's something that's easy that they understand that's sort of, not that comfortable to trust those kind of institutions, but from a Western perspective, you'd see that um, you know a lot of a lot of perce per perception on on this actual phenomenon that took place. Uh, a lot of people were scratching their heads like, "What's going on? Why do people do that? And why are the banks closing?" Mm. Wow. Okay, so if you had one tip to very briefly to help people build trust with, I don't know, overseas with organizations, what, what do you think that would be? I'd say that it's very important to recognize that humans are not robots. Their relationship with each other um, is, is very important. They need to uh, emotionally interact, they need to trust, and this does not happen in one second, it happens in time, it is nurturing, and that actually leads to a lot of different benefits, including economic growth at a very um, national level. So even companies need to build relationships and trust. Exactly, companies do that at, a, at every single level, but it, it definitely goes, um, it's consistent as, at an individual level, at a national level, and even at an international level. This, this uh, model is consistent uh, uh, everywhere. And if a countries could learn to build a little bit more trust and relationships, we'd be a lot better world, wouldn't Exactly, we? yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, thanks a lot. Thank, really you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. See you soon. Take care.